G'day guys and welcome to another YouTube lesson. Today we're going to take a look at another marketing strategy. It's the additional three P's that a lot of you probably aren't familiar with. You know the standard traditional four P's which are generally to do with the actual physical product. Not surprisingly, most businesses in Australia deal more with services. So because of that, there are another three extra P's that you need to understand and to see and be able to explain as to why or how they can be used as successful marketing strategies. So a quick recap, our four traditional P's, product, place, distribution, price, and also promotion. The three we're gonna look at today are people. So one, people. Two, processes in processes. And the third, the seventh P is the physical evidence. Now again, we are looking at marketing and strategies. What are strategies? These are things that a marketing team can do to increase sales, profits, and in particular, market share, one of those key goals, key focuses that we've talked about beforehand. Now, those additional three Ps, the first one there is called people. So, the people element, what is it? It refers to the quality of interaction between the customer and those within the business who deliver the service. Now, in terms of people, we need to understand that if you've got a certain teacher compared to perhaps another teacher, that actual person delivering the service, one can be better than the other. I'm afraid to ask which one I am, but either way, a service provided by a better practitioner, whether that be a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, whoever, if it's performed better, then you will have a better um, product, I suppose, in the end. So the people providing the service is essential, and that's why it's considered one of the new seven Ps. A service performed by people, it's essential for the business to use appropriately recruited, qualified, and trained employees. Again, as a definition for people, the people element refers to the quality of interaction between the customer and those people within the business who deliver the service. That makes sense in terms of having a good quality doctor that you see, better quality person doing the job, performing the service, then that in itself is an excellent marketing campaign. I mean, my wife took our boys, could have been me, but my wife took our boys, or one of them to the doctors today, and she was concerned about which doctor she was taking our son to see. And a better quality person, in this instance, a doctor, um, results in excellent marketing. My wife and me, with through our kids, will wanna go and see that doctor again. If the person, again in this instance, the doctor was poor, poorly trained, poorly presented, wasn't very good, then we would be very reluctant to go back and see them again. So the person element, that extra P, that fifth P, is a major marketing uh, strategy that can be used. All right, next one. The sixth P, or the second of the new P's, is processes. Process refers to the flow of activities that a business will follow in its delivery of a service. So when you order a meal from Macca's, from a restaurant that's there, it will be delivered usually within a few minutes at most. But behind this efficient delivery system is a set of well-planned and well-organized processes. With those processes, those set of steps from the product or the um, product being ordered and asked for through to it being delivered. When employees provide service such as the Macca's employees do, they rely on a delivery system. That's a set of processes to perform their task. Back in the day, I did work at McDonald's, um, and when I was there, we were really well trained with a set of processes and procedures to follow. We didn't just make up stuff as we went along. There are a number of steps, processes, if you will, the procedures 
we had to go through that weren't complex, but that we had to go through to make sure that that service that was provided to the customer was consistent. And if you've got a good, consistent process that delivers a good, consistent service, that's why process is the 6P, then customers are usually happy. And as a result, happy customer, word of mouth, you'll see you'll have better return um, customers and you'll see it being an effective marketing strategy. So what were some of those processes when I worked at Macca's? First thing, we'd have to greet the customer. They gave us some flexibility. As long as it was an appropriate greeting, we'd say, hi. Then we would ask to take their order. Then we would upsell or suggestive sell, that thing that people don't always like. Would you like fries with that? Are you ordered a regular? Would you like a large Big Mac meal, etc.? Next step in the process, we would take their money. And finally, we would issue them or provide them with their product that they ordered. Now, um, official, well set out processes are very important as a marketing strategy. As I mentioned, if things are organized, if the customers um, expect a certain level of service, if the restaurant has in place decent quality processes, then you will generally see a better product, be it service and good, and you're likely to have a better reputation, good branding and good return service. All of these highly effective marketing strategies. Now, the seventh P or the third of these last set of P's, the new set that we've seen, is physical evidence. What's that? Physical evidence refers to the environment in which the service will be delivered. So when you rock up to Macca's or wherever, what do you see when you're there? Is it nice? Is it well lit? Does it look clean? Or does it look nasty and dingy? It's kind of like a classroom. It includes things in terms of physical evidence, such as signage. Again, is it bright and clear? Does it look current? Brochures? Uh, business cards or letterheads? Is there a logo, a website? Does it look professional? Or does it look, you know, dodgy? Imagine that you go to a restaurant. You were very satisfied with the product. So the actual product you ordered at this restaurant tasted nice. It looked, looked good. Uh, the price was reasonable. The people element, they were nice. And they appeared to be good processes. But the cutlery, the knife and fork, was dirty. The chairs weren't very comfortable like in a classroom. The menu was difficult to read and understand. All of these things are additional extras. But they add to the experience. And if it looks disgusting, see, you go to the, the restroom, to the loo, and you know it doesn't look like it's been cleaned in some time, kind of like a school toilet. Uh, you know, it really brings a downer on your experience. Would you go back to that restaurant if the rest were good? Maybe, but it might turn you off it a bit. So. Having good, again, having good physical evidence, the extras, they can be a really important uh, marketing approach. All right, now there are three new P's. They're service related. And just to quickly recap, people, that's the actual people working in the business. And you get that. A good teacher, you want to stay with that. A bad teacher, and you don't like it. Processes those set of steps and procedures. If they're well followed, then it tends to result in good outcomes for customers and repeat our business, and it's a good word of mouth marketing campaign. The last one was that physical evidence again. That's the environment in which the service is delivered. Does it look professional and classy? Or does it look dingy, kind of seedy, cockroaches in the restaurant, kind of disgusting? Just to recap, the traditional four P's, let's test you. What's the first one or one of them? Product, yes. Another. Price, well done if you've said that. Promotion, yep. And also place. So you need to be aware of all of these seven P's and they're often going to be needed to be used in your essays and your discussions. All right, guys, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.